Hi guys and you're welcome to part 4 of paste tax integration using PHP, JavaScript, CSS and HTML. And if you have not watched the part 1 to part 3 of this series, I'll leave some links in the description below so you can find those videos and watch them. Okay. And in the third part of the, the video, we succeeded in adding this data to the database. And then we also promised ourselves that we are going to actually see how is it that we can fetch this data from the database and display it in our customers.php page, which is actually what this particular video is for. So we are going to go ahead and then fetch this data and display it in customers.php right now. So let's go to our development environment and see how is it that we can do that. So I have my customers.php file open and it's, it's completely blank. So you go to, you have to open your own right now. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is you go ahead and copy success.php page and paste it right there because they're kind of similar. Not completely similar, but they're just a little bit close. So I'll go ahead and paste that right there. And I'll take away the part that I don't need. So I'll just scroll up to the top right now. And I'll take away from this session. I'll take everything away. Yeah, up to this place. So I'll delete that. So the only thing we have right there now is just the connection to the database. And then within the body, what I'm going to do right now is also take away. Let me take away from here. This second there, table row. I'll take that away up to this place. And then, um, yeah, this is what we want to work with right now. So I'm going to go ahead and then enter the title right here. So I'm going to just call this, um, I'm going to just call this, um, let's just call it a uh, customers. And down here, within this title, with this H2, let's just call that um, my customers. Okay. And within this place, which is the table row, I'm now working on the table, I'm going to go ahead and um, include the, the, the first table row, which was actually the first name. I'm going to just call that the first name, like that, and I'll copy it, use that to work on the rest. First name, next one will be last name. This is going to be just a last name. After last name, we have um, we have email, I think. And after email, I think we have um, her phone number. So I'm going to just enter phone right there. After phone number, I think it was the product name. So product name. And finally, we have the reference. And that should be the, the last thing, the, the last uh, data right there, or the table data. Now within this play that says a uh, table row, we are going to actually come back to it later. So I'm going to take away, I'm going to take away this, come back to it later. So let's scroll up and then write our query. So if you scroll up to the top of this page right now, it is now the time for us to write the query to selecting those data from the database. And to do that, I'm going to just set a variable and just say SQL. And I'll set it to this particular SQL um, language or syntax. I'm going to just, within this place, I'm going to say select all, all means that asterisk from the table name, which was called a stack. That's the name of the table. And in the next line, I'm going to just go ahead and then set a, a variable and we'll, I will say statement stmt equal to and I'll say pdo arrow and I'm going to just say use this method to prepare the data and I'll go ahead and pass in this particular 
variable up here so i'm going to prepare everything in that place paste it right here just like that and then in the next line and before i move ahead i know that you guys may be confused as how this variable is actually coming in. this variable pdo is actually the, the instance that we created within this page this, this particular file so i'm able to use pdo because I think I've actually explained this in one of the videos that we, we've done. So I have access to this PDO because of this file that I've included up here. Okay. All right, let's move ahead. All right, so now that I've gotten the data, um, I've prepared them, the, 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 all the data into this STMT. So the next thing that I want to do right now is to execute the data that I have within that STMT. And to do that, I can just say STMT this arrow and I'm going to say execute just like that that will help me execute that line and then the next thing that I want to do right now is since I have all the data saved within this STMT what I want to do right now is to choose a particular variable name that I would like to have all the data saved into them and because we are working with um, ebooks we are trying to say ebooks. So I'm going to just say ebooks. And this can be anything you want, depending on what you are doing. So I'm going to just say ebooks as a variable. And I'm going to go ahead and set it to. And I've set it to this particular STMT. STMT. And I'll use this method called um, fetch all. Just like that. And with that, it means that. Um, Whatever that is saved within this STMT, I now have them inside of this um, particular variable called the ebooks. So I can make use of an ebooks anytime I want to access whatever data that is within that particular table. Okay. So let's go to, let's scroll down to the place where we want to actually display those data, which is going to be here. But before that, I'm going to use a uh, all. So what I want to do right now is to use a for each loop to actually display or loop through the data that is in the database. So to do that right now, we're going to say, so we should say PHP, no, no, no. So we'll say PHP for each. And within this um, bracket, I'm going to pick that particular variable that I created up there. And I called it uh, ebooks. So I'll pick this ebooks and go ahead and paste it. Let me scroll up so you can see it very well. So within this place, I'm going to just say, I'm going to paste that particular variable and I'll say as another variable name ebook. And remember that this is ebooks and this one is just ebook. You can actually use any variable name you want to use in this place, but I think it makes more sense. To just say ebook okay and then i'll say colon and close that particular php tag that i opened up right there and i'll go straight ahead to close the for each loop down here by saying php and for each just like that and terminate php line okay then within this place now, this table data is now when we want to start displaying those uh, data like the first name, second name, last name, and email then, and the rest. So to display them, we can actually say php echo. You can go ahead and um, make use of this particular ebook, this variable. So I'm going to just say ebook. It's an arrow like this. And because we are fetching them as objects, so I'm going to just say with arrow like this. And then in my database, what did I call that particular first name? So it was called false underscore name. Like that. And go ahead and terminate that line. So this is actually a very beautiful way to fetch those things using um, uh, the, the, the for each loop. Okay. But there is something I also want to show you with this uh, opportunity. I want you to understand that uh, you can actually shorten these characters that you are using right here. To like, let me say, if you want a shortcut to displaying those data, you can actually you can take away this echo and just put an equality sign right here like this, and it will still do the same work for you. So let us uh, make use of that. I think it's uh, actually a very good thing to shorten our code. 
anytime possible. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and copy this line and paste it on the next one and paste the last name. So last name is just going to be LA for the last name and the next one is um the email right so we're going to just enter the email and if you don't understand where i'm getting all this data from like this email this last name and first name let me go ahead and show you that right now i'm actually getting that from our our database so you see last name i mean the first name last name phone email um product name and all these things this is actually where i'm getting all those things from okay so i'm not making that up myself so on the next line we have um i think we have a phone here we're going to go ahead and then enter phone that's what we'll call it in the database and then on the next line we have product name so i'm going to just say product name and then finally we we we're gonna just enter the reference like that and and as you can see i noticed that i did not fetch the price the the the, the dates or even the id but if you follow the same process if you want to include those things you can do it in fact let me also let me just go ahead and enter the price so if i want to enter the price right now I'm going to go ahead on this place let me say I want to display the price just immediately after the, um, the product name so I'm going to just say price right here within the, the data like this and I'll come down to this place and I'll go ahead and then I'll just say echo price and that will help me also fit the price. So if you want to fit the date, the date and even the ID, you can actually do that. Let me structure these things a little bit better before we go ahead and test it. All right, so that's it. Go ahead and save this and then we'll take a look at it from our browser and see whether we can fetch that. So let's go to create another tab right now. All right, we'll just go ahead and say localhost for slash payment for slash it was called a customers customers.php and let's look at it and congratulations as you can see i've actually fetched those data from the database first name fred last name finado and the rest of the data so the second person chito david is his email phone number price and the rest of the data that the person needs and if you want to find out whether this is actually true you can just check the database you see we have fred finado chito david and their data even their reference are actually the same so that's actually how to fetch data from the database okay so congratulations if you got it up to this place and you have any if you have any challenges you can actually go ahead and ask me in the comment box below i'll go ahead and answer you and um as you can see this place that we say we call the customers.php is just like a backend for you so i recommend that you should find a way to lock this page make sure that this page is not actually free even the other page which was called the success.php if you have any other ways to make it a little bit more uh, sophisticated you should just go ahead and do that Make sure you log but particularly make sure you lock this page you don't want uh, other people to be coming into this page and reviewing your data calculating the kind of money that you're making for yourself so you don't need that make sure that um, maybe you even can go ahead and include um, a login to this page if you are not logged in you won't be able to access this page okay so i recommend you should do that and don't forget to check the description box for some other information okay thanks for watching and um, i wish you good luck i'll see you in the next one